All right, so today what we're going to try and do is do some fillets uh, using the West system epoxy and some wood flour, um, which is over here, um, which says West system 405, but it's actually wood flour that I bought online at Duckworks Boat Building Supplies, which was about a third of what this sells for. So thanks to Chuck at uh, Duckworks. So this 105 resin and 207 hardener um, mixes at a ratio of 1 to 3. So I'm going to mix 25, um, I guess it's milliliters of the hardener. To approximately 75 milliliters of the resin. And I'm using these measuring cups because they're inexpensive. Got them from the Dollar Tree for an actual dollar. And they're only a dollar. And what I use to actually mix my resin in, I know this isn't the, the cleanest work site but I'm trying to get this done real quick. Just use cheap plastic cups also from the dollar store. So here's the 25 yeah. milliliters yeah. of hardener. With the 75 milliliters of resin. Mama! Mommy! And that's my two-year-old. Alright. So I used to mix them a uh, very basic putty Mommy. knife. So mixing the epoxy is very important. You have to do it very well. Typically I mix for about a minute before I use or add any fillers to it. So for the sake of TV, <laughs> we're going to say that this is about a minute. It's actually about 30 seconds now. And since I'm going to be mixing in some wood filler. I guess I could stop. You get the sides and the bottom very well, Yay. mixing vigorously. Yay. All right. Then I get my wood flour and we want to get the consistency of toothpaste today. And um, I haven't figured out ratios and proportions with regard to wood flour because I found it depends a lot on temperature outside as well as humidity and sunlight in terms of how this stuff sets up heats up consistency and all that so today it's overcast it's only in the mid 70s so it will be what it will be and so You want to get a shot of the wood flower? Mm -hmm. That's about it. It's actually a little bit thicker than I wanted it. That will work. So, initially when I tried to do this, I did it by hand, meaning I actually took a um, tool and tried to apply the fillet directly to the boat. Didn't turn out so well. So now what I do, I take an inexpensive plastic sandwich bag and I cut the corner off. Might want to come get this. Just enough so that it will make me 
a nice piping bag almost it's if you're doing cake so that's about a on a quarter to three eighths of an inch across roll the bag down then begin to fill in my compound Try to get as much out as you can. So as you see, that's not bad. Got most of it out. And then I will wipe off my pudding knife with a rag I have that's already got some acetone on it. No! 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 I'm going to seal the bag up. First, I'm going to come over here and look at this. I'm going to use a little bit of pressure to kind of squeeze all the mixture no. down low and it's going to leak a little bit but that's okay seal the top and now I've got a makeshift no. piping bag and this will be the tool that I'll use to actually do the fillet which is a tongue suppressor from a medical kit and so let's go ahead and do it So why don't you go around and get me doing the spot on it. Nandi, go play in the grass. You might want to get a close up. And I set it on the table with the uh, side with the whole the business end up. And I gently fly this. Oh. Yes, Nandi. Mama. Over the fillet. And then, let's mix the cup, wipe the excess back onto the mixing cup. We have another little tool I use, which is here, which is in a very inexpensive paint scraper or whatever, it's a dollar, a dollar and a half from Lowe's of Home Depot. And I use it to clean up the excess. And then put it again back to the cup. Now it doesn't get it perfectly feathered, but it's definitely easier than sanding off a bunch of globs of epoxy. And that one's good. So we'll have one done. Hey. Hey. Oh. Watch out, little girl. 
Don't want to drip epoxy on it. Um. So let's switch you on the inside. Mm. So fillet number two. And while I've got it open, Most the hard part is trying to keep all of the good stuff in the front. It's messy, but things up pretty easy. You can feel this stuff getting hot in the bag. It's crazy. Got about 20 minutes to work with this before it kicks off. And again, that's determined by humidity and temperature. But this is my second batch for today. So I don't know if I've got time to go back and clean up a little bit. Right, so that's pretty much all I'm going to get out of this batch for now. I actually am going to get some more out of this bag. I'm going to start cleaning this, these last two fillets up. Like I said, this isn't perfect, but it gets the majority of it up, which will make for light sanding for a particular kid I know. No. The first time I did it, I didn't like the way the fillets turned out.
All right, so we've got a little bit of excess, or extra, in the cup. You see that? It's in the cup. It's a very little bit. This corner here. What I'm going to do is check it out. Flat. Some corner. As liberally as I can. Then take the number one tool <laughs> and just seal this corner with it. And that one totally disappears. It's really just a corner bead. And there you go. 10 minutes, about 10 linear foot of fillet and 100 milliliters of epoxy and resin. So there you go.